questions for later? I just couldn't quite get that, uh, that first in the end. Yeah, I fought hard to get back into into the first set. Um, yeah, early on he wasn't giving me any cheap points out there. It was you know tough to get games. Um, his depth was exceptional right from the word go, and um, you know I was fighting hard to sort of just stay in touch in the first set, and then yeah, you know, yeah, you know, started putting a bit more pressure on him when I got up that well, got back on level terms, and and then yeah, you know, for most of the tiebreak I was on top, obviously, and yeah, you know, I could have gone either way. Um, yeah, you know, you know, not saying I was going to win for on the first set would have been made life a lot easier. Yeah, uh, yeah, he got a couple of lucky net cords when I had game points, and um, yeah, to his credit though, he uh, picked up his game again in yeah you know, in the third set after I was able to yeah you know, serve pretty well through the second set once I got the early break, and then. Um, the third set, though, he, yeah, he started dictating play again. He, he didn't give me quite as many cheap points, especially off his uh, backhand, you know, in the rally. Uh, the yeah, pretty good, really. Um, yeah, second hard court tournament in since the Aussie Open. So, um, yeah, limited preparation in terms of you know five set matches as well, and, and that was probably the telling telling thing, you know, to keep backing up against quality players and um, you know, at least normally when I go into the Australian Open, you know, you have a you know, half of November and full of, no, full of December sort of a pre-season under your belt, whereas this time, you know, it's just been matches here and there. And, um, yeah, obviously not a lot of five-setters, so um, yeah, all in all, it's, uh, you know, pretty happy. You know, it takes another quality player to, to beat me again. Um, yeah, there's a lot of positives. You know, even to come out today, I, I thought my ball striking was probably better today than it was in the first two matches. Um, so in terms of you know, Davis Cup wise, I think there was a lot of lot of positives to come out of you know backing up against quality players. Um, and you know today's match was kind of like a clay court match as well. So um, you know, obviously Pat and Roach will sit back and we'll have a chat about it. What's that, sorry? Um, well, we haven't had the easiest draws, you know. Um, this is probably as as tough as the other ones that we've had. Um, so we're not, uh, you know, we're going in as the underdogs. There's no doubt about it. I, d I don't know when Germany would have been the last time they were out of the world group. It hasn't been for a long time, that's for sure. So, um, you know, they've got a lot of options, singles and doubles. And, uh, you yeah, know, we're going to have to... Out of the five matches, we're going to have to have three really good wins to get over the line. I didn't see any, no. Have you heard all about it? No, I've heard and seen some of the, the stuff about it. Um, yeah, obviously, I, yeah, I would have thought he'd gone a little bit better against Andy, but as I say, I can't comment because I didn't see... I was stuck in traffic driving back. <laughs> That's obviously the coach for me. Are you the sort of person who might take the side... Oh, I don't know. You know, I, I I've got along well with Bernie for the last uh, last couple of years now, and um, you know we, we've practiced quite a bit together. Nearly at most tournaments that we've played the last couple of years, or last year and a half or so, and and then you know I was obviously we were the only two guys in the Olympics on the men's side, so we spent a lot of time together there as well. So in in terms of all that, I, I think he he does listen to me quite a bit. Um, even when he's spoken about things, you know, whether it's playing Roddick or, you know, his game a little bit during the Olympics when he was down on confidence a little bit. So, yeah, that's what I'm there for. <laughs> yeah, been around the, um, for a long time now. And, uh, yeah, he, he had a disappointing loss here in the second round last year to Silic, and then he came out and, and played, pretty, played pretty well in, in the Davis Cup against Roger and, and Stan. So, um, yeah, hopefully he can get it together. What's it like to, to play for Eric, to try to solve him, maybe versus what it was like in 06 and 08? It's still very similar. It's uh, not a lot of difference. You know, he, his game is, uh, you know, it's a standard game for him. He, he's not going to do, you know, he's not going to blow you off the court out there, but he's going to make you work for every single point. And, and, yeah, it's the same now as it was then for me. 
Um, you know, he's a quality player. You know, he's probably got a little bit better on hard courts and grass than he was back then. Um, but you know, he's a great competitor, and you know, you, you're going to be out there for a long time to beat him. Uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he's a unique player. The the way that his ball striking is unique. The some of his shot selection is unique. Um, then again, you know, there's been matches, probably more so the Aussie Open and stuff that he's been able to turn matches around because of that. <laughs> you know, so it's, you know the Vadasco match, for example, he looked like he was. Yeah, he's struggling there for a while and, and uh, he was able to turn that around and, and even against Dog Pogolov in, in the Aussie Open as well. So, yeah, that, that's him and that's his personality a little bit as well. Last two English. Uh, I was just going to say, what's firstly with the team that I suppose the process would be you take off Thursday or you take off a bit earlier? Or uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, obviously uh, some of the boys have been hitting on clay already and, and uh, yeah, I'll speak to Pat and, and Rochi and I'll be doing... Exactly the same as what everyone else in the team's doing. And, and I suppose for the rest of the year, yourself after the Davis Cup, I mean, you know, I suppose for the last couple of years you haven't played at all injuries. I mean, what are, you, what are your thoughts there when you play? Yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be playing uh, a few tournaments. Yeah. Um, most likely probably four four tournaments, I'd say, at this stage. I'm still working out exactly where where and uh, which tournaments. Um, but I'd like to probably play four after the Davis Cup somewhere.